I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. The American M18 Hellcat is one of the most infamous tank destroyers in this game, mostly because it used to be extremely busted. It's much more balanced now, but it's still pretty prolific. Because it's a lot like the Sherman, but the armor on the Sherman isn't much more effective, and the M18 is a lot faster. Of course, you don't get a stabilizer, but it's still a pretty good vehicle, so let's take it out and see how we do. Also, it being an open-top vehicle, I assume that I'm going to be cast incessantly, so I brought some tools for vengeance. But before we get into the video, it's time to talk about our sponsor for today, Fishing Clash. Fishing is a classic pastime enjoyed by people of all ages. One where you can often sit back and enjoy nature. There's nothing like casting a line and catching four bluegills in a row, or a clump of algae, or a chunk of your dad's shoulder because you weren't checking your surroundings before you cast. Yeah, three-year-old spooks didn't really did that last one. Sorry, dad. But in our busy modern lives, it can be difficult to find time to plan a fishing trip. Fishing Clash is a mobile game that lets you fish wherever and whenever. The gameplay is very straightforward and enjoyable, featuring a huge range of real-world locations and fish to catch. If you want to just sit back and fish at your own pace, you can do that, or you can compete with people worldwide. You can also form clans in your own fishing villages. If you're looking for a sense of progression, you can unlock upgrades and customize the look of your fishing rod. Most importantly, however, Fishing Clash has become an official sponsor of Major League Fishing this year. Some of the actual events happening in the US will be replicated in the game, where players can take part in virtual competitions and win in-game rewards. Try Fishing Clash today by using my link in the description, or scan the QR code you can see on screen. Use my special gift code Fishing Tank to get a special $20 value reward, including a unique avatar for free. To redeem the code, all you have to do is click on the Settings tab, click on Gift Codes, and then enter it. Many thanks to Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it. Let's see if we can shoot this panther before he gets deleted. Yep, I think I hear stuff behind us now. Relocate quickly. Oh, come on. Got him. I really enjoy using the M18 like it was intended. You know, getting into a defensive position really quickly and then just trying to react to targets. Oh, that is a VFW. Nope, that is not a VFW. That's a TOG. What, what was I thinking? <laughs> they look nothing alike. And they're completely opposite. Alright, I'm getting bored. I'm moving. Oh, I almost slipped. Ah, uh, that is not where I aimed. <laughs> I am very perplexed right now. I blame the government. It's weird that the M18 is a vehicle that you don't hear a lot about, historically speaking. I guess it was just too late to make much of a difference. Ooh, is that guy alive? Yeah, he most certainly is. I am very out of it right now. It is currently 3 a.m. on the dot. Your boy is not feeling it. Should I see if I can try to like ammo rack this guy? Go on, keep driving, go on. <laughs> I really don't like that they made it so that you can't remove decals that come with premium vehicles because these are very large and ugly, I must say. I am just not a fan. Oh, that is another Hellcat. Let's see if we can get this guy real quick and nope, he's already in the town. Oh, maybe? Ooh, got ya! But yeah, as I was saying, you never really hear about the Hellcat historically, even though it did some pretty good work. Hi, Chaffee. Goodbye. It's the M18 we just killed. It seems like pretty much their entire team is on A. I'm really sad that Gaijin smacked this thing so hard with the nerf hammer. Like, they just lopped off 60 horsepower, messed with its transmission so it's not as fast as it should be. Hello, Mr. Goober. Oh, another Chaffee. Hi. Poor thing. I have killed nothing but other American tanks this match. It feels like a lot of mid-tier War Thunder matches are just US tanks killing US tanks because of Lend-Lease and captured vehicles. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> well, at least we, uh, you know, marked him for our team. 
Okay, you got this track, and now we skedaddle. I don't think he can see me, but I'm not taking the risk. Hello, Mr. Tiger. Damn. <laughs> I keep hitting their track. Okay, barrel. Please stop doing that, sir. That is uh, quite annoying. Where's this other fella at? Oh, there he is. Not today, sir. I should probably be smart and try to use my mobility to relocate. Ow. Very rude of you, sir. I'm so glad that this indestructible bus is blocking my shot. Okay, there we go. Got him. Oh, I whipped that one badly. <laughs> Please stop shooting me. Okay, got him. How am I still alive right now? <laughs> uh, I'm probably not going to be in like two seconds. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't seem like they're sending their best. Um, I don't think that was friendly. Let's see what we're dealing with up here. Uh-oh. I think you might have made a big mistake, my friend. Ooh, he's, he's trying. He's trying real hard. Got him. Oh, bomb. Hi, bomb. <laughs> oh. And that is why we brought this. No bombs, please. More guns, yes. 2024 is my year of fighting back. I'm sick of it. And he died to an LVKV. I keep talking about how guys should nerf this thing, but it honestly could be a lot worse. Like, remember Hole Break? Most of you probably don't. Okay, so imagine you get hit in a periscope, like only the periscope, and it destroys your entire tank. It was not a lot of fun, let me tell you. Like, yeah, overpressure isn't perfect, but it's certainly a lot better than hole break. Hello, Mr. Tiger. Ooh. I'm very surprised I hit that, especially since I did the thing with my mouse. <laughs> the classic Spookston Parkinson's. I want to see if I can hit this guy's cupola. up. Uh, kinda? That didn't work out too well. Honestly, I don't even think that the M18 needs scouting. Interesting. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that definitely worked pretty well. How Gaijin divvies out scouting when it comes to TDs is very sporadic. Like, the ELC biz doesn't get scouting, but this does. What am I doing right now? I'm gonna end up getting stuck. I think I already am stuck. Got him. Uh-oh, I think that tiger is, uh, looking at me now. Yes, he most certainly is. Got him. Come on. And we're free. Mm. Got him. Alright, let's activate Operation Goblin. And... Bop. Hmm. Most unfortunate. I am not on my game today. I had literally the easiest possible shot. Oh. Bro, what? What is happening? How is that not a one shot? <laughs> I whiffed so badly there. That was actually just embarrassing as hell. Pretty sure that there was a Sherman variant with the stabilizer. I think they gave it a stabilizer because it was meant to be amphibious. My memory might not be correct, but I'm pretty sure that is the context of that. I just realized how annoying the T-86 would be to fight if it got added to this game. Because if it's anything like the Kami, the pontoons would just negate overpressure damage. Unless you shot the turret. I think I'll post up over here, maybe? Seems like it could be an okay idea. 
panther. I hope he doesn't see me. I'm not exactly in the most inconspicuous spot. Okay, I'm 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 going. <laughs> um go on. Gotcha. It's always so satisfying when you get those nice keyhole shots. Ooh. Please keep driving. My name is Jeff. Uh oh. I hear a big old tiger right there. Got him. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the US-76 is one of the most satisfying guns to use in this game. That and the US-75. Yeah, it's probably just personal bias, but I feel like they have a really good mix of penetration, damage, and reload rate. I don't even think people care the objective is over there. We're all just having a free-for-all over here. Uh, I hope I can kill that Waffenschrager with artillery. I mean, it is quite sad. I bet I can. Oh, Waffenschrager. It's time to take your lumps. He's too small for me to see, I think. Oh, wait. No, I think I can... There we go. <laughs> ah. I'm sorry. What? What is that <laughs> kill cam? You know what, let's spawn a plane. I don't know if they have any planes up, but I'm feeling like destroying some casts. Hello, sir. I'm not very good with aircraft guns. Okay, yep. I think he's, uh, <laughs> sufficiently damaged. Oh. There's a plane right there. And I'm being shot at by their airfield AA. Oh, I pre-fired that guy. Okay, it's time to get away from their airfield before the T-800AA crews annihilate my plane. They're still shooting at me, even though the Tempest is closer. I gotta watch out for that anti-air thing. There's a Sturm Tiger. Tempest, are you good, bud? You don't look too good. No. Another cool thing about the M-18 is it was one of the first tanks to have the power pack on extendable rails. So... Maintenance was a little bit easier. I know it's not technically a tank. I do not care. It has tracks and a gun. It's good shorthand. This should be a pretty good sniping spot. Ooh, hello. I do believe that he is, uh, unangled enough. Sorry, I was trying to listen for the range on that. 600. Yep, I believe it. Where do you think you're going, pal? Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> I almost threw my mouse across the room. Let's see if we can use this panther as cover from his own teammate. Nope. Okay. Yep, it's the guy that we killed. Okay, I'm making it my mission to try and bomb that guy specifically. I reckon that guy is him. Yep, it was. Doesn't feel too good, does it, pal? Yes, it was definitely overkill to use two bombs, but that's just a life. And we made him quit. You know what? Good. I'm tired of being the bigger man. Top of the scoreboard, and I only got one ground kill. You'll love to see it. Okay, I think I'm going to try to do my thing where I watch the hill from over here, but it never works. Hopefully, I can get at least one kill. Uh... <laughs> Poor Panzer IV. I thought that was a tiger. Oh, plane. Leave him alone. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> I tried. I tried to save him. It was too late. Oh, there's another plane. Yep, that's a uh, par for a course. There's something behind me, but I also hear a tank destroyer. There it is. Explode. Close enough. Bop. And another bop. Load HG real quick. Gotcha. Oh, that's their spawn. Hmm. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, mister? You're not getting away from me, no sir. I'm pretty sure that he can hear me, but I'm just gonna full send it. Oh god, there's a tiger. Okay, he's dead. Hi. Hello, Mr. Tiger. Please don't have a brain. 
Okay, I don't think he does. We should be able to just kill his driver over and over again. Yep. I would like to hurry, though. I can see that T-34. He really wants that kill. Okay, got it. Oh, wait a second. We have a nuke. I didn't notice for, like, a full minute. We're probably not going to be able to drop it now. Yeah, they're going to cap A before we can get there. It's very sad. We got it regardless, but dropping it is very satisfying at the end of the day. No. No. Back off. <laughs> so yeah, that is the M18 Hellcat Tank Destroyer. As you guys saw, it can't take a hit, as you would expect, and it attracts casts quite a lot. But it is an excellent addition to a lineup. I do think it's a pretty difficult vehicle to master, but it's also not hard to do average with it. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions or video topics, leave in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. And by the way, don't forget to download Fishing Clash and use my special code.